What's going on YouTube? Geosno8 here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the new Checkmate exploit that is a bootroom exploit on any of the supported devices that being the iPhone 4s all the way up to the iPhone 10 in order to put the device in pawn DFU mode for example for a custom made firmware restore or for jailbreaking in the future. So I'm going to show you basically how to use the iPawn DFU on your computer in order to put the device in an exploited mode. Now this requires the device to be connected to the computer. This is a tethered exploit which means that if you want to activate it you need to be connected to a computer and you need a phone to be in DFU mode. Now if you want to also have a written reference about this there is an article available on my jailbreak forum in here which tells you exactly how to use it and how to put the phone in DFU mode or pawn DFU mode with this exploit but I'm going to show you in this video as well. Now as I said this is compatible with any iOS version being at 13.1.2 which was released yesterday or 13.1.1 or 12.4.1 or even iOS 11, it doesn't matter as long as you have a compatible device. And the compatible devices are anything between iPhone 4s all the way up to the iPhone 10. So the iPhone 4s, 5, 5C, 6, 6s, 7, 8 and so on. So I'm going to show you how to use it. You need a terminal in order to do this and you can do this on either Linux or Mac but for the moment I definitely recommend it to do on a Mac because there's no Windows version available and the Linux version seems to be working pretty flaky with the uh, live USB. So all you need is to go here on the iPod DFU repo, press clone or download and download zip and then of course you're going to have a zip file in here. Extract it and then open the terminal. Now the terminal is available either on your launchpad or you can search for it in here. If you press on a magnifying glass in here you can find it and so on. Now once you're in terminal you're going to have to write cd, leave a space and drop the folder in there so that you're going to be in the folder that contains the exploit. And now you're going to have to put your device in DFU mode. To do that if you have an older device older than the iPhone 7 the combination is actually holding the power button and the home button at the same time until the phone shuts down. After the phone shuts down release the power button but keep pressing the home button for a couple seconds usually 10 seconds or so. Now if you have a newer device like an iPhone 8 or 10 and so on or an iPod touch 7 generation you're going to have to press the power button and the volume down button and keep them pressed until the phone shuts down. Then of course once it shuts down release the power button but keep holding the volume down button for a couple more seconds as I said usually 10 seconds or so. The phone screen will remain black but you might find a notification from iTunes that the phone is connected in a specific mode like the recovery mode and so on. Now if you see the iTunes logo or a computer logo it means that you are in a recovery mode and not in DFU mode so you're going to need to do that again. Now what I'm going to do is to write dot slash iPon DFU dash P and you press enter and as you can see this time it failed so I'm going to have to do this again and I'm going to have to run the same command again so I'm going to do this again and it said exploit failed device did not enter pawn DFU mode so I'm going to have to try again you have to try again until it works and as you can see it says now device is now in pawn DFU mode and it took 0.76 seconds now the device is in pawn DFU mode so you can use it for sending a custom boot chain or a modified one setting a custom made firmware and so on now the uses are basically on limited but this is how it should look like. Now keep in mind that the phone doesn't show anything on the screen. The screen remains black all the time. If you get errors like these in here just try again. Put the phone in DFU mode and try again. So yeah that's basically it. That's how you use this exploit in order to do anything with it. So yeah thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Until the next time peace out.